making a four up in position. So we're going to create a four up in position because we're going to make some notepads and uh, basically we need the internals of the notepad. We don't want to print just one small notepad on a one piece of paper because what will happen is we'll have a lot of waste. We'll have to cut that out. So an imposition is a, a product that is repeated over and over on a single sheet of paper allowing you to uh, print multiples on the one piece and not waste anything. Certainly imposition is, is the same term. If I imposition a, a circuit board design, I would have to imposition that also so I can produce many circuit boards out of one big green board. Uh, same, the impositioning, the term rolls across uh, all manners of things that were laid out well to pr mass produce. So if you go to new and we go to inches, we'll go 8.5 by 11. And now the margins are very important. So 0 0.25. And we'll hit OK. So the 0.25 margin, so I have a space here and here. So I have to kind of keep that same space in my product too. Now I can drag out a guide from the ruler and I can try to line this up at 4.25 by manually dragging it across and you can see the numbers there. So 4.25 is the exact center of the piece of paper. Now if you don't, if you lack the dexterity for that, you can go to page manage guides and then you can go over here to the vertical guides and type in 4.25 and then hit enter. A lot of times I'll just have this open because it's just easier. I don't have to think that way. This I can look at the ruler and that I can type in the exact measurement. So I would need a quarter inch from that first. So one quarter of an inch at that mark would be what? Four. And then I need a quarter of an inch on the other side of that center mark. And that would be what? 4.5. Drag this down. So five and a half quarter inch above that one would be five and a quarter. And this time I didn't have to type that in. I got lucky. And then the other one is 5.75. That one not so lucky, so I type it in. Now I'll just hit apply to all pages and get out of that. So there's my four up in positioning. This is just the template for it. Now go to the next video and I'll show you how to use the template, but I would say save this template. You're probably going to be using it sometime in your lifetime or don't because it's always handy to have uh, nothing and starting out with the thing that you need because it allows you to have practice. So I guess don't save it. <laughs> actually do save it because I'm going to ask for it in the end. <laughs> but I can predict the future and say that you're honestly going to forget where you placed it or you're going to not have it by the time you get to the next class. You don't have to remake it. So enjoy. Let's move on to the next video.